Yeah. this language as well. It's an archaic... It must... In the...
Revan and Malak were very... But I see this... There are pieces missing. I was thinking... They... We must... have returned, young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Ma This news of a Starforge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Starforge and what it might do. 
We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi, no victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Starforge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Starforge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Starforge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Starforge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban. And we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war, by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith, but it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you, for there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner, the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all-too-familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. How can I help? It was less of a... Are you wondering? Ask... I... Please. What would you like?
with luck. As you would. Lord Malak, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth El Nasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kalo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kalo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kalo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak.
Kashek. The Wookiees of Kashek make their home high among the Rosha branches. Oh, no doubt. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before, in the grove. It was wrong of me. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes, and in my own. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me, even though I try to take your life. I can only hope that, in our time journeying together, I will succeed. How can I help? No, not bothering you. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Please. I'm a Jedi. Such feelings, such attractions are... Well, they're beneath me, quite frankly. I admit, I find you intriguing. I, I mean, I find your command of the Force intriguing, but... My interest in you is purely academic. Surely, off I... I was referring to the bond we share. The one the Jedi Council spoke of. If I was actually interested in you, rest assured I could come up with a much better approach than this. Touched... No. Don't worry, these are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. Okay. First, what kind of background do you have? Good. On which planet were you born? Excellent. Your current age is? Yes. Well, the truth is I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened. We can... Yes, what's on your mind? Oh, you want to argue some more, is that it? What does it matter that much? I just... Oh, damn it. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here it goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? It wasn't even that. Th there were others. Good, solid men. Trusted men who turned on Mount the... I'm... It... 
let's just talk with everyone, see how everyone's doing. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, what do you want? You want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought? The enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. Times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans that we only wanted the ch but not when I- we will not- I mean, I grew up there, and now it's... it's... it's just gone. Yeah, look, so don't... Hey there, what... Really? You want to know about me? Nope. Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well, I, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Hey, nobody said the Volkers were smart, but there were three of them. So maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. And I Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. Those the, I thought any he was he, in, yeah my brother's a damn it did not mean to piss her off oops oh oh second Kipuna, bona na kichu. Mucho shak. Okay. Well, peace out, people. I'll see you guys next time.